welcome to Vlogmas Day. I don't even know, but... Five or four. Vlogmas, it's 11 today. This will go up on Wednesday. <laughs> like 15, I think it is. I am going to be doing a little intro for this vlog because it's all over the place with random clips I think that you will find interesting. The first clip that you're gonna see is a little grocery haul. Welcome to a little grocery haul section of this vlogmas. Um, we did major grocery shopping today because we didn't have lots of things like stuck up. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do a grocery haul and show you more or less like the things that we get on a bi-monthly basis. So I'm gonna try to get over it really quick. I don't have to explain what most of these are. Just like show it to you and just like mention the name, whatever. So orange juice, tropical. I also wanted to try eggnog for the first time, so I got this one from Southern Comfort. I'm hoping that it tastes good though. Christian got some vanilla bean ice cream and my personal favorite praline ice cream from Baskin Robbins. We have some Texas toast with garlic. Does this go in the freezer? Mm -hmm. I also got this. Vermont White Shutter Mac and Broccoli Bowl. I have one of those and then two of the broccoli Shutter Bake. We also have some milk. I Christian gets this regular one and then I get the Almond Breeze on Sweet End. I also got some whipping cream for drinks. Then I also have this diced avocado. We have some kiwis here and some strawberries, a big one. I really love eating strawberries with um, whipped cream. And then I also got these like Christmas tree shaped sugar cookie dolls. And I tried it for the first time yesterday and they were so yummy so I had to get another pack. We also have some seedless green grapes, some cubed cheese. We also have this Italian style meatballs. And we have like five packages of these like California style vegetable mix. Chicken breast and the blueberry pie. We also have some honey roasted granola. We also have this Prego roasted garlic, garlic herb sauce. Um, we also have some sparkling rosé. This is our first time trying it. We have like this cornflake little snack. Um, some whipped cream. I also have this bread with lots of fiber if you're looking for a yummy bread that has lots of fiber to help with your digestive system. I definitely recommend this one. I also have some potatoes. And then the last two items that I have are some marshmallow treats and some townhouse cookies. That's a little haul. Next part of it, you're gonna see was on my Christmas slash winter bucket list that I just remembered I haven't shared with you. So that I filmed earlier today. And then after you see all those things, you're gonna jump right to me again in present day Fabiola. And we're going to be trying some eggnog. So I hope that you enjoy this vlog. Sorry that it's all over the place, but yeah, <laughs> I have no excuses. Hey guys what's up so i don't have my tripod right now because i'm too lazy to go pick it up but i have you like sitting on top of our bed we have like a little christmas fleece that you can see here and i think it adds a little bit of like christmas colors to the video so that's just super cute so i just wanted to share with you my christmas bucket list for this year during the fall i shared with you my fall bucket list and i thought it would be fitting to once again share what my christmas bucket list looks like and i found this little template on like a blog um i'm not sure the name of the blog but just google like christmas bucket list templates and you will definitely find the right one for you and so i have it on this icy blue clipboard so let's jump into it the first 
thing to do during the Christmas that I really really want to do this year is try winter drinks at Starbucks and I already have that checked out because we did and my favorite one of them all is the toasted white chocolate caramel mocha I think it's called and I love it in a frap version and I also love it um, just hot in a latte form so that's really good I hear a lot of people rave about like the eggnog one but unfortunately I haven't tried that one yet because they don't have it this year and I think that last year they didn't either so maybe it got discontinued and I will never get to try it. But yeah, the toasted white caramel mocha one is really, really yummy. I go ice skating and I really want to do this in Washington, D.C. They have like a national gallery of art there and I am pretty sure they have like an ice skating ring there. And we checked the prices and it was only like $10 per person, which is super, super inexpensive living here. So hopefully soon we get to experience that and take that little drive over there the next bucket list idea that i have is visit a christmas tree farm and this is something that we actually did today the day that i'm filming this and it was such a wholesome experience i've never been to one before and i just love it that will definitely become one of our yearly christmas traditions moving forward god willing and it's just so magical i kind of wish we had pre-cut our own christmas tree or at least like picked it up from the pre-cut ones but since we have the fake tree this year hopefully next year we like decide to go do that now that we know how it feels and where we should go etc we have play in the snow and by that i mean i want to make like snowballs and do like a snowball fight with christian and also create like a snowman snow angel all that fun stuff to do with the snow i also want to drive through christmas lights i've seen a lot of people do this in their hometowns where they get their car and they just like drive through christmas lights in like an avenue or something i think that's super nice especially if it's just like inside the car you don't have to take on that cold so that's super great i also have here go christmas shopping which i did earlier this month or even during november i believe i actually filmed it for you so if you're watching this and you haven't watched my christmas shop with me video i'll have it linked on the description box down below so you can go check it out once you finish watching this video decorate my home for christmas i already did that look at my little christmas tree i have like a big one in the living room and i also recorded that for you so i will definitely be linking the christmas decorate our apartment with us and the decorating our christmas tree video i also have make hot chocolate on a cute mug which is something i really really want to do this year and i have the perfect mug for it that i bought last year bake christmas cookies i already did that and that happened in our well in my christmas um night routine that i posted as well so oh my gosh so many videos already but it's great because you're not only listening me share my christmas bucket list but also you can watch other videos to see me accomplish that so i'll definitely put that in the description box below as well god willing i also have watch holiday movies and i actually watch one on netflix with nina drobrev and like a comedian but i don't remember the name it's like it was like number one on netflix for like a week i think or a couple of weeks i'm not sure but it was so fun so funny so i already checked that out take christmas photos is something else i really really want to do this christmas season but i need to find the motivation to do so because for some reason i'm not really motivated to like take christmas photos this year which is like so Sad. listen to holiday songs i also did that on my christmas winter night routine buy christmas gifts i also did that already yay i'm so happy because like i'm sharing this christmas bucket list and you can just go watch my other videos as i said so buy christmas gifts i already did that for my mom my grandmother christian even my dog and i'm gonna give money to my brother um and i actually film a christmas um what i got my family for christmas plus christmas wrap with me 
present thing um, on my YouTube channel as well in one of these vlogmas so I'll link that down below as well do a random act of kindness I really want to do that but I'm like I don't know too shy to do so like let me know in the comments below what you think I should do maybe I should pay for someone behind me order at a drive through somewhere or like when I'm shopping or doing grocery shopping, I can just pay for somebody else's groceries. We'll see what I get to do. Um, hopefully something. Eat a candy cane is the ne next thing on my bucket list. And I already did that. I didn't record that, but I just randomly, while I was editing like a whole bunch of like vlogmas footage, um, I just took a candy cane and I ate it. I got like the box from Dollar Tree, which was only one dollar. So if you are not like a super huge fan of candy canes and you don't want to spend like three to five dollars at Walmart, just go to Dollar Tree and you get like a pretty decent sized box for only one dollar. So tip. Wear cute winter clothes and this is something that I actually kind of like accomplished today because oops, I'm wearing something right now. Super Christmassy, super fun and I was also wearing like a white, no, like a red um, outfit as well. So like, yeah. Um, see the snow for the first time. So I'm not sure when I'm about to, when I am going to do that. Just when God brings snow to our town, basically. So no telling on that and then last but not least i really want to try eggnog let me know what's on yours and i'll see you in the next clip <laughs> we are going to be opening a package that i received from my mom christian you're not even in frame there you go so let's open it up and let's do a little puerto rico package mom haul <laughs> <laughs> keywords Okay, we're gonna close your eyes. Okay. I'm gonna give you one by one stuff. <laughs> Look at everything she sent my way, you guys. Christian is gonna know, he's gonna look crazy. You probably don't know what any of this is, but you're gonna know soon enough. Open your eyes. <laughs> it's just like condiments to cook from nice, Puerto Rico. Nice. Next. Don't open them yet. Now you can open this them. This is coffee. No. <laughs> it's just flour. Flour. And my mom said that we can make like, I think it was or stuff like that with this one or whatever because mm. this one's yeah like another one this is corn uh, corn yeah. cornmeal all-purpose flour we have something you really really like and puerto ricans also really like uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it yeah, we don't, yeah we, we don't have any over here and yeah. I've looked for it. It's all purpose seasoning, but Puerto Rican style. Okay, close your eyes again. This is a care package. This is literally a care package. Whatever, just open your eyes. It's like too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's like literally too much. So we have more condiments, Italian seasoning, like so many. Onion powder. Lemon and pepper seasoning. I, ground, don't, I don't think I've ever used this. Ground cinnamon. We have parsley flakes. We have... I think one of them opened. It's just this. Yeah. We have guava fruit paste to eat with like crackers and stuff. And then we also have some bay leaves. Bay leaves. And something she said that you're gonna love is this open your eyes <laughs> yeah. salt free flavor meat seasoning nice. Nice. it's like with lemon and stuff so we have a hershey's bar some like tuna i don't usually eat that but when i was little i did we have like lots of tuna we have oh papaya slices to make and she said that this is like the best 
turron she has ever tried. And I love eating this for the Christmas season. It's like a seasonal thing in Puerto Rico. And many so, places, I believe. You think? Yeah. Because it's not even in English here, I think. Almond nougat. nougat. So we have four of those. And that's all for the haul. Did you expect all of these things? I did not. It's not closed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the end. <laughs> Thank you. And welcome back. So now it's present time and I am going to try some eggnog with Christian. In Puerto Rico, we have something called coquito, which is super yummy and Christian's mom does it so wonderfully. And I don't know, I don't know if this is like it can be compared. <clears throat> I think this is like the equivalent, but it's not the same thing. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. So, this is what we bought. I'm pretty sure it's like better if it's like homemade. Homemade. But we saw this at Walmart and we were like, we should definitely get it so we can try at least some of it and have like a better idea. So, this is from Southern Comfort traditional eggnog ultra pasteurized and non-alcoholic great and we have some cute christmasy cups that we're using so to the honors okay stop um here it is here's the eggnog this is how it looks like um, the texture kind of looks more liquidy than mm -hmm. that of Puerto Rico. Like, the, I don't know. But or yeah, is it like the same? It looks very eggy. Yeah, it looks really <laughs> eggy. Like, oh yeah, like for real. I honestly think it looks like a pancake mix yeah. that you put like egg on it. And yeah, the texture and the color, I'm not sure. The smell. It actually smells kind of good. I'm not sure if it's like the cup. Or the eggnog. Oh, I think I smell like ginger or cinnamon or somewhere. Cinnamon. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna read the ingredients. Yeah, okay. Yet. Cheers, babe. Our first eggnog. Mm. I can definitely taste the cinnamon or ginger because it's like, I think it's ginger honestly because. It has a peculiar taste that I don't love. If it were ginger, you would not be like this. You'd be like, ah. this might be like allspice or cloves. Oh, maybe, yeah. Um, I don't love it. I would not drink this. Ever well. again. I mean, I can drink it. Yeah. I prefer the poquito one from <laughs> the Puerto Rico. Oh, definitely. <laughs> we should definitely make like a homemade one. Should ask my mom for the recipe. Yeah. For her recipe. Yeah. But I kind of get it's like comparable, but not really. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna swallow it all. Um. I don't know what to tell you. It's not it's, bad though. It's not yeah, horrible. It's not bad. It's just <clears throat> not, not it. Not appetizing. <clears throat> I can see the equivalence in terms of texture. It's more or less the same. Yeah. And this has been in the fridge for a while and actually I don't know why while drinking it, it's not, it doesn't feel cold. Yeah. That's a good uh, observation. It's like... Because I agree. It's like, uh, it feels room temperature. Yeah. If it didn't have that allspice you say it has it contains, I would like it. I mean, if it didn't have that, it wouldn't taste like anything to be honest. <laughs> Because that's like, it, it seems like it's the main ingredient. In, not the main ingredient, but what gives the it. The overpowering yeah. ingredient. So that's enough eggnog talk for the night. Um, and I think that this will be all for today's vlogmas. Please make sure that you subscribe to stay up to date because vlogmas is ending soon. That's quick. December is ending soon. 
and I can't believe it's gonna be 2022 in weeks at this point and we're gonna get married in 2022 and they still and they still don't even know the date <laughs> so I need to announce that so yeah make sure to subscribe so you don't miss everything that I get to do before the year ends and also make sure that you follow me on instagram and tiktok and pinterest so many social medias in this time and age but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video